Okay, example three, it appears that we are using the standard form here, or they gave us the standard form, 5x minus 2y equals negative 20. And we are asked to graph only when x is bigger than negative 6. Since we don't have two endpoint students, this is going to be a ray, okay? Um, we are going to make just a table, starting with an x value, of negative six whatever value you, they give you we are going to start with that knowing that we will get a y value and the first thing is it's going to be an open circle so remember x is bigger than negative six negative six is over here guys two four six here's x is bigger than negative six right we're going to go everything here that means we can have negative 5.99999, okay? So we do pick negative six, except that when we get a Y and plot this dot, it is going to be an open circle. All right, let's check it in. Five times negative six minus two Y equals negative 20. Five times negative six is negative 30 minus two Y equals negative 20. We are going to add 30 to both sides. So it will give us negative 2y equals positive 10. Divide both sides by negative 2. So y will give us a negative 5. So when x is negative 6, y is immediately negative 5. And I'm going to erase some of my marks here so I can plot. Negative 2, 4, 6. Go down negative 5, 2, 4, 5. And we know it's an open circle. We just need two more points to make it a nice straight line. In this case, is a ray. Um, the next one I'm going to pick, the nice point I'm going to pick is zero. Because anything, zero is nice and easy to plug in. Five times zero students is zero. So this term is gone when, when x is zero. Kind of like looking for the y in a set. So we just have 2y equals negative 20. Divide both sides by negative 2. It is going to give us a positive 10. So when x is 0, y is 10. Ooh, that's all the way up there. Looks like that's all we need because I'm out of y space. Let's go in and use a ruler and connect our two dots here. Remember, technically, we can keep on picking values bigger than 0. But if we do that, I'm not going to have any y left above to even connect. So that is a ray. Um, if we pick one, it should be more than 10 on the Y. Okay. So let's go and answer the rest of this. The domain is already given to us when X is bigger than negative six. X is bigger than negative six. I want us to practice interval notation. So let's do that as well. Here's negative six. Okay. So open parentheses. So Okay, open circle, which is parentheses. And remember, the arrow is going up and right. So at some point, it's going to hit 100 on x, 1,000 on x. So what we call that is we call that infinity. So the end of a notation is going to be from negative 6 all the way to infinity. The range is all the y values, right? And the y value we have here is negative 5. And similarly to the x, it goes up and right. So if it goes up, we call that we call that infinity, right? Because it's going to hit 100, 1,000 on the y-axis, 1 million on the y-axis. So that's also going to be a pause infinity. So interval notation, it's open circle, negative 5 all the way into infinity. Or inequality is y is bigger than negative 5. X-intercept, it looks like we do have, we have one. It looks like a nice one right there, okay? Um, so that's 2, 4, negative 4, comma, 0. No work needed since it's a nice value. Okay, so x-intercept, order pair, negative 4, comma, 0. Y-intercept, that was another nice point that we found, right? 0, 10, 0, comma, 10. The slope is positive because the line is going towards the right. Then that means it's increasing. And the interval of this increasing segment is the same as our interval notation for the 
domain because we only use x, okay, for increase, decrease, and constant. So it's going to say negative 6, comma, infinity.